Hello, I'm back again because, <clears throat> as you can see, I'm shooting back to back because this is the paper I just did the other pen reviews on. Uh, I'm just attempting to make a bunch of videos and then, you know, upload them in sequence, not all at the same time. Now, what is this? If any of you were born, probably I'd say before 1995, that's a good year. If any of you were born before 1995, you probably know what this is. Um, this is the Polaroid One Step Flash, which on a broader scale is their line of 600 instant film cameras. Yes, this is a beautiful, beautiful camera. As you can see. This was... I believe this is a mid-80s model, but if anybody knows exactly when they made these, you could just post it in the comments below. Here, exposure, close-up lens, viewfinder, flash... Um, this, yeah, I believe this is a mid-80s model. Like would be mistaken. The Polaroid 600 line of cameras are roll, or not roll film, I'm sorry, pack film, as they say. And pack film pretty much just, it is film that, of course, comes in a pack. It's film that, oh, I showed you already. Pretty much, it's film that contains your developer, your negative, your regular part of your photo, and all the other necessary elements of picture taking and development inside its frame. Now, in 2009, they stopped production of the Polaroid film from Polaroid themselves. A company called Impossible began making them. And here is an example. Yes. Uh, autumn leaves. Let me just focus this in. Nice photo. What I like about these is every photo is different. This was a kind of mistake, but I like this still. The Mirror of Visions, I have entitled it. I believe what happened is the camera must have shaken in between its snap, where the camera opens the lens to take the picture or whatever you know you understand but it still it gives it a nice effect it's kind of it's odd to stare at it and wonder what is going on this one field and stream a little shaky I never said I had the best hands this is a beautiful one. This is a picture of the Tunkhannock Viaduct. And if you search that up on Wikipedia, if you're not familiar, it is also called Nicholson Bridge. It's a viaduct that spans the valley of... It goes across near the town of Nicholson in Pennsylvania. And it's part of the Pennsylvania Railroad, and I believe it's operated by the Canadian Pacific Railroad. But this is such a nice picture, and this structure is massive. It's about, I'd say, five miles long. And this is only half of it. That little shine there is actually the metal that 
is on the bridge that tells you the railroad company and it reflected but it just takes beautiful pictures you know look at the detail in that the darks has a lot of depth you can really tell that that bridge is large and that's it now behind here you have your negative and as you can see that's a serial number an impossible color, CR. So, let's talk about price. How about $23.50 for eight exposures? <clears throat> Some of you might have said, oh, you know, that's way too much money. But it really isn't if you take into consideration why you buy it. Why do you buy it? Now, this is the pack of film. Here's the original cover that was in it. As you can see, 600 color. And the battery is also contained in there. So those are the leads. And it's from Impossible. If I could... There it is. And pretty much how this works, um, I can give a little demonstration. I have this camera That was odd. And I also acquired this one. Wait one second. This is, I know, is a later model. I believe it's in mid 90s, early 90s, something like that. Late 80s. This is a gray 600. found this one at a flea market. Still a one step. Has a close up. It's just a beautiful camera. How does this work? Well, I could demonstrate because the battery is still good on this one. Which one do you think you want? Vote now. No copyright infringement. Okay. I've chosen this one. Just because I feel like it. So you pop your little lever here. Lean it back. You don't have to lean it back this far. But I'm doing it so I can balance it. You get your film. Put it in with the dust or your exposure cover sticking up that way. Push it in. Make sure it's good. And you just close this up and your first black cover comes out. I like what's made out of it's like a plastic. And then charges up because the battery's in there. Say cheese. And this is another picture. Because I put in the this film got two coals, and yeah, that happens. So, for $3 a picture, is it worth it? Probably. Just depends on how you look at it. I'm going to pull this out. So, if you're looking for some film or a camera that produces nice prints, you should consider a Polaroid 600. They sell film. It's very expensive, but I have to give them this. Makes nice pictures. That's it, guys. Uh, remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and all, as always, enjoy.